What's up, stackers? This is Silver Slayer, and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are someone who wants an opportunity to give free silver shipped straight to their front doorstep, well, this is the channel for you. Once a month, I give an ounce of silver away to one of my random subscribers, and I'm about to hit 55,000 subscribers, so I'll be doing an entry video very soon in the next day or so i'll post the entry video so if you want a chance to win you better be subscribed click the bell so you won't miss the entry video when it gets posted i'll also be doing unboxing in the next few days i'll be giving some of that silver away as well so a lot of silver given away to a lot of stackers and like always may the luckiest stackers win now a lot of people dislike wall street silver and uh, I think it's probably the most controversial topic right now. I mean, it, it, the, the community is definitely split in a half. And I think a lot of this has to do with um, misunderstanding Wall Street silver. Some people just don't like what they're trying to do. But at the end of the day, new stackers are being formed on a daily basis. I mean, they have, what, almost 200,000 members now. And if you go on Wall Street Silver and, and look to any extent, these are real silver stackers. I mean, these people buy physical silver, they love silver, and I'm sure a lot of you watching this video got into silver because of them, heard about silver because of them. I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing when someone who kept their money burning away in their bank account now is financially free because they started investing into silver, and Wall Street Silver probably exploded silver or put it, you know, on the map more than any other event. So think what you want, but I'm definitely someone who tries to get the word of silver spread to as many people as possible. And anyone else who's going to do that is A-OK -okay in my books. I mean, they are putting effort out to spread awareness. I mean, they put billboard signs on highways telling people that inflation is coming and you better buy silver now. I mean, people have chipped in to do so. I'm sure some of you have. These are real stackers. It's not just a couple of Reddit memers that are trying to just buy silver on the Comex real quick um, just to push the price. Now, yes, some of their intent is to, you know, squeeze the market and to, you know, basically force a price but at the end of the day what's really wrong about that i mean i i don't see why um people trying to buy as much silver as they possibly can and expose silver's true prices i mean why that's such a bad thing i mean think what you want for me personally though if you go on this site most of the oh there's my video um most of these people they just like buying silver I mean, with any site, with any type of, you know, with, with any group of people, you're going to have people that are investing for different reasons, even before Wall Street Silver. Some were the preppers, some were the people that just like buying silver, you know, as more of, um, uh, of a, uh, an investment, some as a hobby. I mean, at the end of the day, though, this is just a group of people that like silver just as much as you and I. Maybe they came into the market from Wall Street bets and, and thought that it was something that they were just going to kind of do real quick. And then they realized the intrinsical value of silver. Regardless, though, that doesn't even matter. Regardless, these people are silver stackers and we're all on the same team. So I don't see why they get so much hate. Now, I, I can see, I can see, and, and, and here's the thing. Let me, let me also break this down. I have a pretty unbiased opinion because I've been making silver stacking videos since 20, 2015, 2016. It, I, you know, I was one of the first people that started the silver stacking community on YouTube. You know, if you think of like the first channels, I was one of the first channels, you know, along with like Salivate Metal and Silver Slacker and some of the like, like I was in that group, right? I've been on the scene. I've seen how the stacking community has grown over time. I've been there since the beginning, so I can truly come from an unbiased perspective since I also am a member of Wall Street Silver and I post daily, you know, on this subreddit as well. You know, I, I 
come from both sides of the fence, both sides of the coin, pun intended. Um, so I know the main reason, though, this is the main reason, this is the meat and potatoes that a lot of people dislike them, is that they think that premiums have started from what they're doing, that it's all premiums, and this is this is the cause of that. Well, first, first let, let's break it down. Let, let's break down what premiums really started from, which was the U.S. Mint in 2020 announcing that there's a silver shortage, that they ran out of silver in 2020, hence why Eagles have the highest premiums, and that they they ran out. They had to make an emergency 1 million mint supply from the San Francisco Mint at the end of 2020. That's when premiums started. Low supply, high demand pushes the price up. Maybe not the spot price, but the physical price because it's the physical demand that has the supply deficits, right? But And that's also why Wall Street Silver wasn't going to be able to push the price because they did a lot on the COMEX and it's not the, it's not the supply deficit for digital silver. It's physical silver. And that's why I talk about silver triple digit, you know, or triple digit silver being 2026, 2027, because that's when the physical silver shortage will be inevitable. That's, you know, that, that's the time that uh, the green revolution, all the electric vehicles and everything, all the silver that we actually have on the planet will be non-existent, right? By that time. Um, but re regardless of that, that's a whole separate video. Regardless of that, people think that Wall Street Silver started the premiums. They started the premium. It's their fault. Well, premiums were inevitable regardless of them anyways. But if it was just Wall Street Silver, then why do Eagles have the highest premiums? Now, yes, other coins have premiums as well, but it's mainly Eagles where, the, where we're talking 71%. And that's because the U.S. Mint is under strict guidelines. They're, they're non-compliant with these uh, with the laws. I mean, I've covered several times that they're in actual legal trouble going up against Congress being non-compliant uh, under these certain regulations. And that's because they have specific laws that private mints don't. And that's why private mints don't have a lack of silver. They, they have sources. U.S. Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, and the Perth Mint all announced that they're having record-breaking sales and they just cannot come up with enough silver. That's why the Royal Mint's starting to scrap silver out of laptops and cell phones to try to help somewhat of, of the situation they're in. But it's the U.S. Mint that's in the most trouble right now. And even in the article I covered, it doesn't look like they're going to come to any type of solution anytime soon. So you could expect premiums for Eagles to continue to rise. But regardless, though, regardless, if there's a low supply and a high demand, and I actually just made a video, one of my most recent videos, I think it was my last video, um, production by 2026 is only supposed to rise like 1.3%, like um, 955 million ounces to be exact is what they're estimating uh, by, by the year 2026, where we already exceeded 1.12 billion ounces this year in demand. Imagine by 2026, what the demand would look like in billions of ounces when almost every automobile company is going to be electric, when solar panels will have flooded the entire globe as we uh, try to try to do this zero net emissions by the year 2040, when 5G towers will be across the globe. Like There's no possible way we will be able to keep up with that type of demand. And that's where premiums would also come in as the government's going to tr try to suppress spot prices. You're going to see a rise in price from somewhere, and it's going to be the physical since it's the physical shortage. Now, you could, you could argue a lot of what I'm saying, and, um, and a lot of it is probably arguable, but I'm just talking about the research I've done, the videos I make, the articles I link, the data I show. In my last video, I showed the numbers. There's no way to... to to pin exactly where all of it goes or how it's going to affect the price of silver. But at the end of the day, I highly doubt, especially back then, they didn't have 191,000 members. They had probably 5,000, 6,000 uh, back then, you know, almost two years ago, that a group of a couple thousand people were, were going to or still push premiums through the roof that we see still till today. You know, they pushed the price to $30 in a matter of a couple months, which silver couldn't do in the last 10 years, which in my eyes, that's pretty freaking impressive. But regardless what they did to that, 
you know, the price back then, it doesn't matter. I mean, it just, it just seems so silly that, that people dislike them so much when we're all stacking silver, we're all on the same team. Whether they do it for this reason or trying to do this or you're doing it for that, I just don't see why you would dislike some silver stackers so much. That's just my take on it. That's just my opinion. Now, I know that a lot of what I said is probably um, up in the air and in your eyes, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this. This is just what I've seen, right? This is this is just my perspective, right? Everyone has a different opinion. Um, maybe some people haven't looked into Wall Street Silver as much as I have, so um, they're just, you know, <laughs> automatically going to hate. Maybe some people don't want to. Maybe some people have bias opinion. Maybe some of you totally agree. Maybe some of you are only came from Wall Street Silver and don't know the the true stacking community on YouTube, so you don't care. Or since you were since they were hated from the beginning, they're saying screw the silver stackers on YouTube. That you know, regardless though, I just I wish the community would come together because we're all silver stackers. They have a lot of power behind them. They are they're bringing new people into the world of silver on a daily basis, which I think at the end of the day, that should be the bottom line, you know, is to promote silver. And what they've done is, is, is beautiful to bring so many people. A lot of these are, are new. You know how many uh, posts I, I see on here where someone says this is their first stack or got my first ounce today or, you know, or, or even the, the live discussion where people are talking about it, trying to understand what the best silver is and people helping each other on here. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing, but it's just sad that, um, that, people have to, or people have such strong opinions when a lot of it probably is just um, not understanding uh, the subreddit. A lot of people aren't familiar with Reddit, especially since a lot of uh, the stackers are, you know, where a lot of us are in our 30s, 40s, 50s and might not use Reddit. A lot of these people are probably younger since they came from Wall Street Bets and all that. So maybe there's just a, an automatic... Um, uh, split in the community just from age difference or just the platform itself. Regardless, I know that Wall Street Silver did a lot for the the Silver YouTube community right when they started. Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just really just trying to figure it out as as much as you are, and uh, that's my take on it. Uh, you could think what you want. Probably a lot a lot of people are probably going to disagree, and that's totally fine. I just wanted to shed some light on what I see and how I feel. So yeah, that's my take. Um, I, I genuinely don't think that premiums all started from them. I think it was inevitable as the first sign of a shortage was from the U.S. Mint announcing that in 2020. And then in 2021, when the Royal Mint and the Perth Mint also came out and announced it publicly for the first time. Yes, Wall Street Silver was probably in the crosshair since that's when they started. But whether they started or not, that was inevitable, right? That, that was inevitable. And I think that probably just shows that as silver becomes more mainstream and more popular, we're only going to see that situation get worse. They might have forced the hand quicker, but at the end of the day, the hand was going to get played. So I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Let me know. I, I know a lot of you on my channel have came from Wall Street Silver or um, that, that, uh, that are new stackers that started from Wall Street Silver. And at, I mean, that's just the whole point. That's the whole point is to spread awareness and, and help as many people that are brainwashed, stuck with their money burning away in their bank account to live financially free. So I don't know. I know I was, I was all over the place for this video, but that's because the, the conversation is all over the place. You know, I, there's no right or wrong answer for this. There really isn't. It's all just opinionated and what people think. So I'm trying to just cover as many um, as many ideas and, and really just uh, what I take of this. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, uh, I hope you thought this video was either educational, informational, or at least entertaining. Make sure to subscribe if you want a chance to win some silver. I post daily videos. Thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.